How's it going, everybody? This is Tyber Drabo. Hope you're having a great Christmas day, and welcome back to another video. Well, I hope you all are having a great Christmas so far, and I'm glad you're spending a little bit with me today. As today's video, we're going to be doing another haul and games video. In this series, I'm talking about all the games that I pick up each and every month. However, for this one, it's going to be a special edition because this one's going to be focused on all of my favorite pickups from the year of 2021. Since I started picking up video games for my question earlier this year, I have gotten a whole lot of games, especially a couple new consoles and I've been making a lot of strides when it comes to trying to build as big of a collection as I possibly can and it'll only grow bigger but I want to use this time to look back at some of my favorites that I got some of those that I've gotten and played that I've really enjoyed so these are some of my favorites that I got for all the consoles that I currently own now for those of you who are wondering although the December 2021 edition of this is not up yet obviously won't be up until next month yes the ones that I've gotten this month so far will also count for this video and there is one in particular from this month that I got so far that is a part of my favorite so you will see that in the next Hall and Games video as well but either way these are some of my favorite pickups that I got so far and it begins right now. So starting off obviously the big one is the PlayStation 1 console. Obviously I've never had a PS1 console prior to this year and I've really wanted to get one for the last five years and now that I had enough money this was the year that I finally got it and so obviously I'm very excited to be a PS1 owner and I've really enjoyed it so far. I think I've played a lot more PlayStation 1 one recently since I've gotten the console than all my other consoles combined so that just tells you how much I really enjoy the PlayStation 1 so far especially since it was, it was the godfather of all the PlayStation consoles and when it comes to my favorite games the first one that comes to my mind is the original Gran Turismo released in 1998 now this was the very first Gran Turismo in the franchise and as we all know it forever revolutionized the racing genre on the PlayStation family of consoles as well as in video gaming as well getting to go back to see the original Gran Turismo and getting to play it for the first time, it really blew my mind compared to all the years that I played Gran Turismo 3 and Gran Turismo 4 and I really enjoyed it and I'm looking forward to playing more of it. And I've gotten quite a bit of NASCAR games as well for the PlayStation 1 and really if I had to pick one that was my favorite, it would have to be NASCAR Rumble. And this is a pretty odd choice, however, this one is my favorite because unlike all the other NASCAR games, which is just simple racing, this one really has a lot of Mario Kart physics in it and I played a little bit so far with some of the power-ups on there and yeah, it might be a little frustrating but man it is definitely enjoyable to play and I'm very happy that I have that game. Next one that I have is the original Destruction Derby. Now this was the one that was released in 1995 and was one of the very first true originals for the PS1 and I really enjoyed this one. Getting enjoy all the destruction that I got to see playing with all those cars around me and you know just getting to win the Wreck and Racing series as well. It was such an enjoyable game. I mean, it was a little bit frustrating as well but it was very fun as well. And the next one is Porsche Challenge. Now this one's a pretty surprising one when it comes to my favorite pickups, but it's a really quick game. But obviously you get to race the Porsche ups, you get to race around a whole bunch of other Porsche drivers as well. And it was definitely a fun game. So it might be a little bit of a surprising pick, but I've really enjoyed this one. Smurf Racer is a game that I've wanted to get for a long time again. I used to have it when I was a kid and when I got it, I got really excited. So really it's also another quick game, but just like Mario Kart it is also very similar to it and so I'm really excited to get that game and I really enjoyed it. It was also a whole lot of fun. Those that know me next to Call of Duty Medal of Honor is my favorite first person shooter franchise and I was so stoked to get the original Medal of Honor this year once again. I used to have it when I was a kid but I couldn't even make it past the first chapter. I did make it through the entire game this time and getting to relive the franchise as well as the game that whoever revolutionized the first person shooter genre along with the World War II scene in it it was such a blast it was a lot of fun and also getting to kill all the nazis as well in that game i also enjoyed the original driver now obviously driver and driver 2 i got for the ps1 but if i had to pick the one that was my favorite it was the original driver particularly because it was the one that started the you know mimic franchise to grand theft auto and yeah you know it was just enjoyable obviously driver 2 was also good i really got to play that one and i really enjoyed what happened there as well but the original driver really stands out in my mind as the favorite of those two and I also had two Dukes of Hazzard games as well. However, my favorite one was the first one that I got, which was Racing for Home. Definitely very funny how I got this one, and also not very fun 
as well. But once I got in the game, it was very simple to play. You know, actually getting to play as Bo and Luke Duke. I do like Daisy Dukes it out. It was definitely a good game as well, but Racing for Home really stands out in my mind. It was a game that I really enjoyed, and you know, I'm really looking forward to playing that again in the near future. It was definitely a lot of fun. Another favorite of mine was the original Crash Bandicoot. You know, one of the original mascots for the PlayStation and Sony. I really got to enjoy playing the first one. And of course, I got all the other Crash Bandicoots for the PlayStation 1 as well, but this one really stands out in my mind because this was the one that really started it all off, and I really enjoyed the game. And it was also very hard, but once you got through it, it was definitely very satisfying. And then Croc Legend of the Gobbles. That game was a nerd game that I've wanted for such a long time, and I didn't even make it past the first half of it when I first had it as a kid, but I got through the entire game this time, and a little bit easier than I expected it would begin. However, it got a little bit more challenging at the very end, but it was still one of the cutest platformers out there, and I desperately want to have that game for such a long time, and I'm glad I have it, and I really enjoyed it. All right, so that's really my favorites for the PlayStation 1. Moving on to the PlayStation 2, there weren't a whole lot of games that I got for the PS2 that I enjoyed, but there were some that stood out in particular to me. And the very first one is a game called NASCAR Dirt Daytona. Now, this was different because unlike all the NASCAR games, games before then this was the first one to feature more than one series in NASCAR obviously it was all the cup series before but this one also included the lower tier series the trucks the dirt modifies as well as the modifies it really was the precursor to NASCAR 2005 chase for the cup and comes to that standards and yeah I got uh, really enjoyed that one as well I'll definitely play a lot more of it in the near future but you know so far I'm already enjoying NASCAR Dirt Daytona Splashdown is a game that I really enjoyed for the PS2 I actually got that one as more of a surprise earlier in the year and I didn't really know how it would go since it was really racing jet skis on water but man it was one of the most fun games that I had gotten for the PS2 in a long time. A really surprising pick but I really enjoyed it and you know for one of those racing games that's a little out of the norm it was definitely very fun and I'm really looking forward to playing more of it. And of course you cannot forget about Destruction Derby Arenas which I got in the original month for Holland Games in April. That was a game that I really enjoyed as a kid. I played it so many times and would beat it a whole bunch of times over and over as a kid and getting it again was really just reliving my memories as well i mean it was all similar when it comes to the combat and like stuff and all that in particular but man it, it was just a whole lot of fun and i already got one game for the month of december which i will talk about in the next hall and games video but this one has been a game that i have long wanted for such a long time it was probably my favorite all-time racing games a kid that I did not complete. I'm so happy that I finally got it again. It is Everywhere Road Trip. I only just got it this month, and man, this was a game that really brings back memories. I remember just playing it so much, and I enjoyed it so much that, you know, whenever I ended up break the disc once, I ended up having to ask my dad and mom so that way I can go to GameStop and get the game again over and over again. I feel like I got it like three or four times as a kid before I didn't get it again until earlier this month. And so, you know, I'm very happy that I have it again. I look forward to trying to beat the game this time. One of the more interesting PS2 games that stood out in my mind is Civil War A Nation Divided. Now, this was obviously a game from the History Channel, and yeah, the graphics aren't as good as it should be, and obviously, you know, the controls could be a little bit better, but, you know, this was one of those rare games that takes you all the way back to the Civil War. And obviously, I had never heard of a video game from the Civil War before prior to this, but this one was it. And so, I'm glad that I got that, and I really enjoyed it as well. Quick game, but hey, you know, it's definitely different compared to all your World War II shooters as well. So very happy that I got to play that one. And Rogue Kill. Obviously another one of my favorite pickups. Another game that I had as a kid. And that was a whole lot of fun. Almost similar to Destruction Derby Arena. So obviously you got into a whole lot of destruction in the streets as well. And man, you know, going all the way to Paradise City to reclaim your land. It was definitely fun. Especially since it was in the middle of an apocalypse and all. But one of those interesting games that really does doesn't get a whole lot of credit. But yeah, it was a whole lot of fun. I really enjoyed Low Kill. All right, moving on to my PlayStation 3 games. There weren't a whole lot of PS3 games that I got that I really enjoyed. I mean, some of them I do plan on playing a little more of in the future, but you know, obviously all the games that I got, I like, but when it comes to playing them, there are really few that stand out in my mind. And the first of which is Battlefield Bad Company 2. Obviously, as you all know, I had the original Battlefield Bad Company for a few years now, and it was one of my favorite games, especially the comedic nature of it and so when I got Battlefield Bad Company 2 I knew it was probably gonna be just as good as not the original and boy I was right I really enjoyed that game almost similar to the first one and I'm really sad that there hasn't been a third Battlefield Bad Company game I really enjoyed those two games and anyway, who knows maybe we can get a third one in the future I don't know but hey that was 
definitely a lot of fun. And I also enjoyed Heroes Over Europe. Now, obviously, this is the sequel to Heroes Over Pacific, which was one of my favorite PS2 games of all time. And this flight combat simulator is definitely no different than Heroes of the Pacific. It is a game that I thoroughly enjoy, and I'm so happy to have another World War II game in my collection. And it's definitely a whole lot of fun as well. I really enjoyed everything that happened in that one. And I got all of the Grand Theft Auto games in my collection this year, but if there's one that I enjoy, it's definitely the most recent one, Grand Theft Auto 5. This was really the mega daddy of all the GTA games, and really the one that we all know and love the most. And at this point, it is still selling at a very high dollar, but I managed to get this one for under $10. It was definitely a very good steal, and you know, obviously I really enjoyed the PS3 version of it. I'm still hoping to get the PS4 version of it. I mean, I heard that was just as good as the original, but you know, since it was sold on the PS3 first, I thought I'd get that one first, but hey man, Grand Theft Auto is a great franchise, a groundbreaking franchise, and GTA 5 obviously is the most popular one of them all, and it really is no different here with me. I love that game. And finally, it is the PlayStation 4. Now, obviously I didn't get a whole lot of games for the PS4, however, there are two that I got that stand out in my mind. The first of which is Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Obviously, this is unrelated to the original Modern Warfare series from when it was on the PlayStation 3. This was a soft reboot of it, and you know, for my first Call of Duty game that I got in over a few years, this was definitely a very fun game, and especially since it came with Call of Duty Warzone, which had came out earlier that year. It was definitely a whole lot of fun as well. I do hope to get Black Ops Cold War and Vanguard soon. I heard they both sell copies on the PS4 as well, so I'm hoping to get them sooner. I know they're still very expensive, but getting to see the new Modern Warfare in particular, while it may not be as good as the original Modern Warfare, it still is quite a bit of fun. The campaign mode, it can be a little gruesome and a little bit dark at times, but man, it was definitely another good game. And finally, The Last of Us Remastered. Obviously, as we all know, we have the original The Last of Us, which was released in 2013, and is still considered as one of the greatest of all time. It's no different with the remastered version. It's pretty much the same. The story mode is still the same, but man, the graphics are so much better, obviously. And the storyline really takes a good turn when it comes to, you know, the improved audio, the graphics, and all that stuff. It's still the same storyline, but man, it is definitely a lot more improved than the original The Last of Us. And it's still the same as usual. It's a whole lot of fun. I do hope to get The Last of Us 2 soon. I knew that was released last year, but I haven't gotten the chance to get that one yet. And I do hope that I get, get that game at some point next year in 2022. And so, yeah, those are my favorite pickups that I got for this year. And, you know, for somebody that I only started getting into video game collecting in April and trying to get more involved in the retro video game community, it's definitely a whole lot of fun. And I do want to credit Furman, my friend from Best Buddies, New Jersey, along with Doug and Bren from Almost Better in Silence. You know, they were the ones that really brought me closer into the video game community. And, you know, I'm just very happy to be a part of it. And, you know, there are a whole bunch of other retro video games that are very popular that I wanted to get that I do hope to get at some point next year. And so, obviously, I do hope to try to get those at some point there as well. And obviously, while I do enjoy trying to hunt to get those games myself, I also know that, you know, at some point, I will have to speak to friends along with colleagues as well that may have games that they have on our consoles that obviously they don't want anymore and talk to them and see if I can get them for free. You know, as much as I like going out to get them, you know, at some point, I do have to save a little bit of money. So, you know, I do have to do a little more about that next year, obviously. So probably that's one of the things that I'm going to have to work on, you know, talking to some of my friends that have video games and consoles they don't want anymore and, you know, see if I can ask them and see if I can have them for free, you know, obviously that would definitely be worth saving a buck or two. And so it would definitely work out in the end if I can do that. So I will work to improve on that skill. But yeah, like I said, you know, for the four PlayStation consoles that I have, I've really enjoyed them as well as all the games. And, you know, at some point I will expand to all the other consoles. Like I said, the PlayStation 5, Xboxes, Nintendos, Segas, and Ataris, obviously. I know at some point, once I get my own home, I will be able to try to expand and get to those consoles and games as well. But right now, I'm just sticking with what I know. And so I enjoyed all the games that I got. And obviously, as we all know, there's still one week left in the year before New Year. And that's where the interesting thing is going to happen. Next week is going to be my video game hunt extravaganza. In this one, I'm going to be going to five different game stores in five days, obviously. Now, two of them I've already visited once before, J2 Games in Clark, as well as the Digital Press in Clifton. I do hope to get to go to those two. Those will be on Monday and Tuesday, but for the next three days, it's all going to be new game stores. The first one on Wednesday is likely going to be Level 1 Games in Pompton Plains. I heard that was a pretty good one. They had some good games as well. Then on Thursday, I'm thinking about going to Retro Classics Video Games, which is in Somerville. I know that 
parking can be a little bit difficult there, but I do hope to check that place out on first day. And finally, on New Year's Eve, if it is open, Gans Media Retro Games. Obviously, I heard that there was a lot of cool stuff there over in Hop.com, and so I'm hoping to get to go there on Friday and check out some of the games as well. And so I always want to try to expand to new game stores, obviously, as well. And so, you know, that's really going to be a goal that I have in my mind for this upcoming week, you know. Try to see if I can explore and see what else I can find there. And, and yeah, we'll see what I can get that I can include for the next Holland Games video for the month of December 2021 in January. So yeah, I really enjoy video gaming. It's still something that I enjoy doing during my free time outside of work and family and something that I hope to continue doing for a very long time, if not the rest of my life. And yeah, all the games that I got so far, I really enjoyed. But the ones that I explained today, those are the ones that really stand out in my mind as my favorite pickups of 2021. All right, so with that being said, the next video is going to be my last video of 2021. I'm actually going to be releasing this on a Wednesday because I had to push this video back to this week because of the F1 video that I made last week. But on Wednesday next week, it's going to be my work back of 2021. Some of my favorite videos that I made, along with some of my favorite memories from this year. And there were quite a few things that happened this year that were both fun and also forgettable as well. But I will explain a little bit about that on Wednesday to finish off 2021. And I will explain some of my plans that I have for 2022 as well for that one, as well as my New Year's video in 2022 next Saturday. But yeah, my year end video, it will be next Wednesday. I hope you guys check it out. It will be a fun look back at 2021. Otherwise, that's going to do it for this video. Hope you all enjoyed it. As always, if you'd like to see more of my content, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when my latest video is released. As always, be sure to comment below on future suggestions for my videos, whether it's vlogs, projects, challenges, or video game content, you name it. Leave it in the comments below and I'll do my best to make them. As always, follow me on my social media. All the links are in the description below. That's going to do it for another video. Hope you all enjoyed it. As always, I hope to see you all again in another video. And until then, I hope you're enjoying a very fun and safe Christmas. So long, everybody.